So what did PC components from 20 years ago look like? Let's find out. First we have the AMD Sempron. Released in 2004, the Sempron was AMD's budget alternative to Intel's Celeron line. Despite being low cost, it could handle everyday tasks like browsing and basic gaming, making it perfect for budget PCs in the mid-2000s. It had a single core CPU typically clocked between 1.5 to 2 GHz. To keep that CPU cool, we have the heatsink, and it's pretty dusty as you can see. I'd love to show you the fan connected to it, but it basically crumbled as I took it out. For the RAM, we can see here a 512MB and 1GB DDR400U stick, which is basically a DDR1. It was released back in 2003 to 2004. Back then, 1GB of RAM was considered high-end for most PCs, while 512MB was typical for users running Windows XP. 1.5 gigabytes back then was great for multitasking. Now we have the HDD, the MaxTor Diamond Max Plus 8. Released in 2005, this specific drive had 40 gigabytes of storage. MaxTor was known for producing reliable drives back then, and the Diamond Max Plus 8 was widely used in OEM desktops. Despite the 2 megabyte cache, it offered decent performance for its time and was a popular choice before SATA drives became more widespread. For the motherboard, we have the KM400M2 released in 2004. You can also see three PCI slots right there. It has two RAM slots with a maximum RAM capacity of 2GB which was huge back then. This motherboard was actually a staple in budget desktop PCs, especially with the S3 Unichrome IGP, one of the last integrated graphics solutions before GPUs started evolving rapidly. So yeah, this motherboard had integrated graphics before it went to CPUs later on. Now we have a CD-ROM drive. As you can see here, the manufacturing date was May of 2004. CD-ROM drives were commonly used in PCs for reading and burning CDs back then. It was an essential part of many machines before the rise of DVD and Blu-ray drives. Many users used it for music CDs, software installations, and data backups. Finally, we have the floppy drive. This model was released around the early 2000s. By 2005, floppy drives were on their way out, but they were still present in many businesses and legacy PCs. They were often used for things like BIOS updates, boot disks, and transferring small amounts of data. It even has a floppy disk inside. Let's just pop that out. And yeah, there you go, 1.44 megabytes of storage.